things that cause confusion. Lack of confidence to make decisions. Listening to too many people. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't waste your time going around asking all your friends what they think you should do. Most of them don't even know what they're doing. Well, what, what do you think I should do? And then if you ever get this answer, you better run. Well, off the top of my head, I would say. I mean, the last thing we need is something off the top of somebody else's head. I mean, at least if you're going to ask somebody what you should do, go to somebody that's got some spiritual wisdom that walks in some discernment that's going to take a little bit of effort to maybe pray before they pop off an answer. Well, what do you think I should do? Well, what do you think I should do? Another thing that causes confusion is we don't make decisions because of the fear of making a mistake. And then excessive reasoning causes confusion. Four things, lack of confidence to make decisions. And you know, deciding not to make a decision is still a decision. Listening to too many people, the fear of making mistakes, and excessive reasoning. Sometimes you just need to turn your brain off for a few minutes and get quiet and see what's in your heart. Proverbs 3, 5 through 8 is so good. Lean on, trust in, and be confident in the Lord with all your heart and mind. <laughs> and don't rely on your own insight or understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. And I love the first sentence in verse 7. Be not wise in your own eyes. So not to be insulting, but I'll just tell you the truth. We're not smart enough to solve our own problems. We need God's help and a lot of it. <laughs> 